Morning, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Wessie's Angling. Today you're joining me and my dad at Hall Lane Fishery. We're going to be doing a little bit of method feeder fishing. I've already got everything set up. It's an absolutely lovely morning. The sun's out. It's a little bit of a canal lake here at Hall Lane, but it has got some features to fish to. So I'm just fishing about midway down the lake and my dad's next to me there. He's already had a fish, which I'll show you in a second. The main reason for this trip today is I'm gonna be testing out these properly. I've had some really good success at a few different venues now on these. So the mainline sell dumbbell wafters, okay? They're a white wafter and they have a coconut smell. And apparently they do really well here. So we're gonna test them out. But like I said, I've tested them at a few places and I've done really well in them so far. So they're a nice visible wafter really bright but are they the new pink wafter that's the question <laughs> as you probably know if you're following the channel i love my sonia baits pink washed out wafters but i think these are coming up in rivalry with those so we're going to see how well we're doing them today i'm going to be fishing the margins here with it being a canal lake and i might uh, cast over to the island as well a couple of times so i'll build up a couple of swims probably probably three swims i'll have one down this margin I'll have one over to the far reeds there on the island and then I'll have one down this margin. Now you can only fish one rod. I'm going to throw some bait in by hand. I'm going to put some pellets in. You're not allowed ground bait on this venue. You're only allowed pellets. Now to save mixing some up fresh, as you know that I like to do, I freeze my pellets after I use them. Now I've got a mix here of pellets and corn which has got some of this pineapple goo in as well. That's why the pellets have gone like a yellow colour. So these have been defrosting in the car overnight. So when you defrost them, they're usually perfect. They retain all of the structure still and they'll squeeze together perfectly on the method feeder. But there we go. So that's what we're going to be using. What I might do is I might mix some fresh up as well. If you're wondering what pellets they are, they're Aquastim pellets. I know this is a ground bait bag, but it's got pellets in. Uh, they're Aquastim F1 Supreme pellets. So they're a nice sweet pellet. Gear that I'm using today, I know a lot of you are interested in stuff like that. I'm using my Shimano Speedmaster 911 feeder rod. So the 911 means it can either be in a nine foot configuration or an 11 foot configuration. Uh, obviously I've got this in the nine foot because we're going to be fishing close and in the margins. So I want a nice short rod. And I've just paired that with a Shimano 4000 bait runner reel. Obviously when I'm filming, I need the bait runner on there. It really does help me. Um, so if I'm doing anything, if I'm messing about with a camera, I can put the bait runner on. That way my rod's not getting dragged in. I've got these nice secure rod rests. Uh, a Guru, I think that's a Guru Reaper rod rest at the end there. So that's the setup. I'm also using uh, one of these new map method feeders. I'm using 10 pound Daiwa sensor mainline and a nine pound Guru Engage hook length to a nice strong size 12 that's banded, obviously, because we're fishing with wafters. So I'm eager to get fishing. I'll probably put you on bank stick cam. That way I've got my hands free. <laughs> So I'm not even set up yet and my dad's into a fish. <laughs> my dad's just using his Shimano Euro times one 10 foot feeder rod and his uh, Preston Magnitude reel. It's a nice carp, a few pound. Nice start to the day anyway. Yeah, nice carp that dad to start off. Right, okay folks, let's get the rod out. My dad's into another fish there. Yeah, I'm really giving these uh, map method feeders a good test out. Obviously, you've probably seen the review that I've done on them by now. Right, let's get so wafter on. What's it like, Dad? Is it a nice fish? Seems like it's uh, it's going some. So I'm going to try down this left hand margin first. There's some absolute crumpers in here, so I need to make sure that my drag's set right when I cast out. Similar sort of size. So it's a similar sort of size to that first one. But there we go. So these are a medium-sized method feeder. 
what I am going to do just to start the swim off because we're fishing in the margins and it's accessible I'm literally just going to throw a handful of pellets down just out from the margin I believe it's about five foot deep in the margins here so a really nice deep margin and let's bait up the other side of the margin as well with a couple of ampoules so that's both margins baited up it put quite a lot of rain down last night so hopefully let's sort me drag out so hopefully that doesn't affect the fishing right let's get our cell wafter down there and see how the rod rest is needs to go down might put it on my left hand rest actually there we go we're fishing so we've actually done a video on haul lane before and we didn't do very well and it's meant to be a really good fishery the fishing's meant to be so full on that's why you're only allowed to use one rod here and we did absolutely rubbish it was just going into winter we just had a cold snap and i got absolutely slated on the video because uh, i didn't have many fish out of it and uh, apparently i should have absolutely bagged up <laughs> that's fishing at the end of the day that's just the way it goes if you catch it on a bad day you catch it on a bad day i'd like to think that you all know that i do know what i'm talking about when it comes to fishing we'll see if we have a better day today but if we have a rubbish day here again today, I think I'll just sack it all off and get a set of golf clubs. What do you think, Dad? Yeah, two sets on order. Two, we'll, get, we'll get two sets of golf clubs on order. <laughs> Be Westies golfing. <laughs> we probably end up in the bunkers more often than not. <laughs> not had any twitches on the tip yet. Could do with just extending this rod rest to touch. I just want it uh, in front of that eye bit more there we go just give it a little bit more stability from what I can gather here the fishing picks up going into the afternoon like I was saying to you before there's plenty of decent carp in here I think they go well into 20 pounds there's plenty of mid doubles in so that's one of my goals for today is to get a mid double on this little light method feeder setup we've got here so you'll have to watch the video through and see if we manage that if I don't have anything down this margin in the next 10 minutes I'm gonna try over to the island Usually the margins come alive in the afternoon, as I was saying, when the water starts warming up and the sun's been on the water. The fish are definitely moving into the margins now. I've had a couple of good sessions over the last couple of weeks in the margins. But it's a lovely setting here at Hall Lane. I'll put the address in the description for anybody that wants to try it. I think they've got three lakes all with different sizes of carp in it's £10 for a day ticket for one rod which is a little bit on the steep side but if the fishing's good obviously you don't mind paying it yeah nice fish this I think Chris is it? yeah I feel vindicated <laughs> <laughs> You never know though, do you? No. Until they come up to the top, they could be five, <laughs> could be five pounds. Good bite though. Yeah, Took yeah, it, it was. Yeah. I don't think it's massive actually. I think I bigged it up too much. <laughs> a good start though. One thing that's bad about this feeder chair, the netting. Actually. 
seven or eight pound maybe. Yeah. Nice first fish. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome start to the day. Nice humped back mirror carp. Right, let's get this rod back down that margin. I was literally just about to reel it in as well and cast over to the uh, the island. So waft is guys. in again uh, Chris is one of my subscribers so shout out to Chris and Harry his son turning into a good day so far this is for all the haters out there that think I can't fish <laughs> yeah. I'm always joking hey look I never said I was professional it's a common Hey, hey, good day so far. Yeah, nice comment. I'll tell you what, it's hard work netting around this table. I need to get myself a better feeder chair, I think. Might even take the table off. There we go, yeah, nice comment. Oh. We're getting towards that double figure mark. With the creep, they're creeping upwards, Dad. <laughs> this one spooked another few fish out the margin. I don't know whether you saw. Again, cell wafter. Really doing it for us. This one looks like it's got a little bit of disease. But nice chunky fish, hard fighting. Might be a bream this. Oh no, method feeders wraps around the line. What's going on here? Why was the method feeder caught up in? Oh, it must have just twisted around. Oh, coming. All on the same cell waft of these. Not even changed it yet. I've had my rod out the water for, I don't know, probably about half an hour. I just had to take a work call. So I'm going to get it back in. I have been chucking a few pellets in every now and again just to try and keep the swim going. Hopefully the swim has not died. Right, let's get it back out. Fairly quiet for here today. Maybe people will start turning up a little bit later on. There we go, all on the cell wafter. I'm just burying the hook in the pellets, just so it's invisible. There we go, let's, uh, let's get it down here. Now, well, either have to be waiting a little bit for a bite again, or that's going to go straight round. Either or. 
So it's got a bit of a mangy face on one side. Harry's just had a nice fish. Where was it, Harry? In the margin. Yeah. Just oh. right. Have you got any like carp care stuff? Yeah. Look at that. What was it, Harry? £12? Uh, yeah, it's £12.5, but I need to zero the net, so... So what do you think about 11? Ten, 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 ten and a half, 11. Really nice fish. Proper chunky. There we go, so I'm just put some carp care on it. It'll help it out. It's got a, quite a deep wound there. Yeah. I've noticed a few of them have got, um... Probably a little bit... Probably a little bit diseased, maybe. What do you think? Nice on that side. Yeah. Either that or it's just an injury, but I'll let you, I'll let you get it back, Harry. <laughs> it's, got, it's lively, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, nice fish, mate. Yeah. Hopefully I get something like that today. Proper That's... chunk. I'm going to do a full day today, not just a morning, so I need to ration my coffee a little bit. <laughs> Surprising how quick I go through two litres. <laughs> Feels uh, very jagged. It's a bring. So that tells me that the carp have moved out the swim, unfortunately. So I'll have one more cast down there and then I think I'll go over to the island. Put some extra pellets on. Loads of pellets today. I'm literally just dropping it just there. Just taking my table off, it'll just give me a little bit more freedom when I'm netting. I'm having to move around the table. I think it might be time to get a new feeder chair as well because my uh, Capelan feeder chair, it's still working, but um, the arm's getting a little bit loose and stuff now. I mean, God, for the price of it, it is, it is three or four years old as well. So, um, but it's still working okay. I could just maybe do with an upgrade. So that might be something to review on the channel. Right, table's off. Let's keep fishing. Let's get this back down the margin. I don't mind catching bream of that stamp, to be fair. Get a good few of them today, I'll be happy. It's very still calm today. There's not much of a ripple on the water at all. The sun's coming out now, so hopefully it starts warming up these margins. Like I say, I think it'll really switch on in the afternoon. Usually happens at these kind of fisheries that you'll have a good morning, and then it goes quiet when the sun's highest in the sky, and then when it starts to move away a bit more, that's when it starts fishing really well in the margins. Has anybody else found that, or is it just me? Oh, oof. What the hell is that all about? I can't believe I caught that on camera. Oh, See that bream leap out of the water? <laughs> oh my God. This carp going crazy in this far margin. Small carp in the reeds. But I'm trying, just holding out for something a little bit bigger down here. Hopefully then bream move off and the carp move back in. That's a really good fish, I think. What do you think? Nine and a half? You think it'll go nine and a half? Yeah. Eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yeah. You might not be far wrong there, mate. Eight, ten, so probably, you're probably right. Eight and a half with the, uh, with the way sling.
really nice fish. Got a proper belly on it. <laughs> While I'm fishing to the island over here, I'm still throwing pellets down into this margin. Let's try not to land it on the island. Let's try and get a bit more in that inlay if I can. Take a little bit of line in so I've got some control. And then just a gentle cast. That's perfect, that. Sink the line. Just had a, a bit of a drop back. Again, a bream indicator. Usually what you'll find with carp is the rod will just get ripped off the rest. You won't get little drop backs and things like that. This is the last cast over to the island and I'm gonna go back down the margin. And just keep doing that. Build up both swims. Here we go. It's a bream. Is it a bream? It is. It wasn't fighting like one. Another nice one at least. God, it is going some, this one. It's not really known for being a bream fishery though. I think it's mostly carp. Nice fish. Straight away down the margin. Decent bream, I think. Is it? Oh, crucian. Nice crucian, I think. Or is it an F1? What are we saying, guys? It's crucian into that. It's very dark. It's not an F1, that is it? It's definitely a crucian. Upturned mouth. Beautiful specimen. Is that a crucian? Yeah. It's very dark. Yeah, All on the cell waft of this, guys. That's all we're using today. put a link in the description in case you wanted to try them out I'll also put a link in the description for aqua stim as well because that's the pellets that I'm using with some sweet corn thrown in oops what's this is it a carp or is it is it another little crucian or? No, I don't think it is. I think it's a, it's a carp this time. Oh my God. Little F1. I think that other one might've been an F1 as well, you know. It was just a weird shape. It was a crucian shape. I don't know. What do we think? F1s? It was just a little bit too dark to be a crucian, I think. Look at that. But they do have an upturned mouth. What do you think, Dad? F1 or crucian? You think? What do we think, folks? F1 or crucian? You tell me. Bonnie fish that, really nice colours. Oh, drop back. Fish on, no, yep. Tiny little skimmer. <laughs> this margin is really productive. I don't know where them big carp have gone though. 
I'm hoping that they'll move back at some point. Let's get the feed going in. Hopefully feed off some of them smaller bream. Dad's not having a good day today. He's not had many fish at all. There's carp swirling on the top. There's loads of fish feeding on this far banking. All splashing in this far margin. Might be even getting ready for spawning. We have had a couple of really mild days last week. That's a nice bream actually. Fat one. Oh. hooked itself well folks I'm catching too many fish to film everything so what I might do <laughs> for the next few fish unless I catch something decent uh, I might just do a little montage of everything that I catch <laughs> so I'll just film myself putting them all back and we'll see how that works out <laughs> I'm literally only fishing about eight or nine inch out from this margin here. Really tight in. That's finally into a fish. Nice one. Might even be a big F1 mess, Dad. Swim right into the net. What is it? Is it a big F1 or is it a common? It's a common one. Well, it's really warming up now. That wind's picked up as well, hasn't it, Dad? It's gone really mild, though. I'm going to take my uh, bib and brace off, I think, for the first time this year. Put my bait runner on. That's not going to get dragged in. Get some sun on me white pins. <laughs> I'm in, feels like a small carp. Might be another crucian this. I don't think these are crucians actually. I'm gonna make my mind up and say it's an F1. This one definitely is an F1. Very gold though. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, they don't. It's, 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 they're definitely F ones. That first one might have been a crucian. Second two, I think they were F ones. Lovely colours on it. Well folks, you definitely can't argue with how well these cell whoppers are performing. We've had multiple species on them. The carp clearly love them. That's some nice fish. I think it's a big F1 though. It's absolutely powering now. Making a right commotion. Oh, it's a common, probably about four pound. Look at this fish that I've caught here, folks. It's a proper unusual character. Are you ready? Are you ready for it?
it's, a, it's an F1 with goldfish with uh, fancy goldfish fins. Let's have a look. <laughs> look at them fins. Oh, that's proper. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at the fins on it. <laughs> Well folks, we've had absolutely loads of fish down that margin, but the bigger carp seem to have moved away. I can hear them all slurping on the embankment on the island, so I might give that a try. I might just cast over there, give the uh, margin a little bit of a break. It has gone quiet. Keep feeding it up and uh, hopefully bigger carp will get some confidence up. And move into the I'll probably give it an hour I'll have an hour over here to the island and then I'll go back down there and with a bit of luck some bigger carp will have moved in cracking days fishing so far my dad's not done well next to me but if you're following the videos it always seems like I'll do well or he'll do well we never both do well and I'm not 100% sure why that is because we always fish next to each other, whether all the fish home in on one spot, I'm not sure. Let's get over to them reeds. I'm into a fish over by the island. come out I'm gonna change that hook length anyway because I've lost the band off it but nice uh, stocky mirror nice fish they've all got a little bit of disease on them I think though <laughs> let's get it back lovely fish got another carp onto that far margin Mirror this time. Oh. Always set your drag nice and low when you're fishing in a margin like this, close in. Can be very effective as you've seen well folks after trying haul lane again i'll definitely change my score on the fishery reviews i'm thinking that haul lane is going to get a solid seven and a half eight out of ten beautiful fishery really well maintained just on the expensive side that's all ten pound for one rod a little bit steep I mean, I've had a good day's fishing and there's some really nice fish in here, so I can't complain. Dad's not had a very good day at the side of me though, which is, which is strange. He's had some nice fish, he had a couple of nice fish first thing, but it might pick up down these margins. Now it's uh, getting on a little bit. It's about five past one now. Keeping pellets going in all the time down this margin. Keep the feed going in. Must be, a be must be a bed of pellets about this big down there now. <laughs> no, there's loads of fish down there. They'll be getting eaten. Still not had my double figure fish either, but I'm hopeful. We'll keep at it. And uh, hopefully we pick one up down this margin. I think this, I think this is the place for it, if I'm gonna get one. 
So I'll have a few more casts down here. We're back over to the island. A couple of casts there. Give this swim a rest. And uh, keep doing that. Just keep repeating that. And hopefully at some point we'll get a better fish. What's this? Is it a chub? Is it an eyed? What's this folks? I'm gonna say that's probably an eyed. Big one. Come and have a look at this dad, what's this? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's probably an eyed. I'm not sure. Is this an eyed? It's huge, if it is. It's true. Are you sure? Yeah. No, it's it's not. Chub. Mouth's not really big enough. Yeah, it's, it's chub, that. Are you sure? Yeah. 100%? Yeah, I think that's a chub. I don't know whether the mouth's big enough to, to be a chub. It's an ugly looking thing, isn't it? It's a bit scratchy. I think it's a chub. <laughs> You're saying chub? Answers on a postcard, please, folks. Dad's saying chub. I think he's probably right. Let's say chub. Decent one, a bit scraggy to uh, take a picture with, but that's my first job on a method feeder, that. I think I'm into a ghost carp. Really nice one. Just tried a little bit further down them reeds. Don't think this is uh, anywhere near finish yet. Yeah, it's a ghost carp. Absolutely beautiful fish. Good size. You're on the cell wafter, yeah? I think it's coming in now. Oh, look at that fish, Dad. Really nice fish on the cell wafter. I think it's worth weighing that. What do you think, Dad? It's over 10, that, isn't it? It's close. Oh. Look at the colours on this. Really chunky ghosty. I'm going to weigh it. I think it might go 10, just about. I don't know, it's got a belly on it. <laughs> Eight ten. Eight ten. I think it might be a touch bigger. I'm gonna go nine six. Oh, nine one, and that's uh, with the net zeroed. So it's not quite a double. Caught loads of high singles today, but none of them have quite hit that double figure mark. <laughs> oh. I'm determined to get a double figure fish today. I've just tried fishing a little bit past where I have been fishing, and uh, my dad thinks that the, the carp have sort of backed away from all the commotion, and they probably feel a little bit safer, but it was just in front, just probably three or four meters to the left of where I have been fishing. Yeah, it was on, yeah. Yeah, 
I'm just start walking it back this way. Reg, I'll take your time. <laughs> I've never had a fish strip me out like that before, Dad. Where I've had to walk down the lake. Have you done that before? I thought that was on a one way ticket then, Dad, honestly. Where's your rod? Not in, is it? No. <laughs> I thought it was on a one way ticket. You're good then? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh my god! Yeah, that That's might, a double. That might be a double. <laughs> 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 I think that's a double, folks. <laughs> let's have a let's go and weigh it. <laughs> it stripped me out. It was on a one-way ticket. That <laughs> took you four or five pegs down. <sighs> God, I bet that's that won't be far off thirteen pound. I think. What are you guessing, Dad? Uh, I'm going twelve two. Twelve two. Oof. Oh, that's, that's a big fish, isn't it? Yeah, it is. On the cell off there. I literally just cast it into the other peg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. <sighs> there we go, folks. He's done it. He's got the double. <laughs> that's what we've been after today. On the cell wafter as well. Mission successful. Chunk. There you go. Let it recover a minute. Let it out for pictures. <laughs> hey, oh, my dad's in as well. We might hold off on the golf clubs for a bit. Well, it happened exactly how I said. We had a really good morning. It went quiet through midday, through to about two, three o'clock, and then it, all of a sudden. It's now quarter past four and the fish have come on the feed. I wonder if the sun being at its highest around midday, it's just a little bit too bright for them or something like that, I don't know. I might be talking absolute rubbish, but it does seems to go like that. Just got another one of these nice gold colored Crucian F1 things. I know they're not Crucians, but. Let's see what my dad's got. He's got a fish on. It's a nice fish. Nine pound, eight, nine pound, maybe. Yeah, that's the biggest one today. <laughs> yeah, definitely eight, nine pound fish. Nice. Good, pristine one. Hey, worth staying that bit longer. Eh? Yep. Can't. Yeah, it's got belly on it. Look at this. Take a fish, <laughs> you. He's in my swimlet. So three fish are yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Sod's in again. He's fishing here in my peg, across from my rod. Dear me. Meanwhile, it's gone dead here. <laughs> I've had a couple of bream. We'll see what he's caught in a minute. Is it a nice fish? They're all a decent stamp, these that we're catching. They're all a similar sort of stamp, yeah. Okay folks, so we're going to call it a day there and get packed up. The mainline cell wafters, definitely get the Wesley's angling thumbs up. I've had a really good day on them today, caught plenty of fish, multiple species, I've had some nice carp, considering that it's been bank holiday weekend and the amount of bait that's probably gone in here over the last few days, I think we've done alright. Uh, my peg's been more productive than the one that my dad's on. 
Maybe it's just a little bit deeper in my margin than it is in his. Who knows? But sell wafters, definitely worth trying. So I hope you've enjoyed this little wafter challenge. If you have any questions about anything that I've done today or any of the methods that I've been using, please don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's your chance to do so. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss another video. So once again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next Westies Angling.